Star Wars is dead and this new trilogy killed it. I'm Sven Erik, screenwriter and director from Germany and in this video I want to talk to you about the end of an era, why Star Wars is dead forever and what we can look forward to in the future. Star Wars in its essence is an action adventure. And when it came out it was an allegory, an allegory for its time, the Vietnam War, etc. And when the prequels came out they were an allegory as well, with the Bush administration and Dick Cheney behind the scenes. You can watch the movie Vice where you can see how that all happened. And when the new movies came out, the new trilogy by Disney, there was nothing. No connection to the events in our real world whatsoever. And this is a problem. They made Star Wars not Star Wars, they made Star Wars about Star Wars. The first movie, The Force Awakens, was pure nostalgia bait. They remade A New Hope and what they also did, they made it into a mystery plot. So there was no substance to that story. And they tried to instill this promise in the movie that in the next movie or the next movie it might be better. There might be something waiting for us to be discovered. But then we find out that no, it was not the case. This is a problem of postmodern storytelling. Postmodern storytelling tries to dissolve all meaning and it creates a meta narrative. It's not interesting per se, it's kind of an intellectual approach to storytelling. But that's not the emotional core that the audience wants or needs. That's why I'm saying The Force Awakens was already the downfall to Star Wars. When Ryan Johnson came along, all he was able to do was subvert the expectations. And he did a really good job, I have to say, with that. Uh, not that I liked the movie, but I have to applaud him for the way he did that, because it was a technique that he used, and he used it so well that I hated him for it. When I watched that movie, I, I got a, a gut reaction from it and I despised the movie. And I think if you managed to do that, you did some things right. So when the last part came along and J.J. Abrams took over again, what was there left to explore? Not really much. When I watched the movie, I felt entertained. I was chewing popcorn, but afterwards I felt nothing. There was no emotional connection. And I was not happy, but I was also not sad. I could let it go. I could let Star Wars go. I know that there is a lot of Star Wars on TV right now, and this is probably the last straw that Disney has in its hands, but Star Wars needs the cinema. Star Wars in its essence is an action adventure. The action movie is very connected with the cinema where Star Wars originated. Star Wars with Jaws created the modern blockbuster, the movie for everyone. The side stories they created like Rogue One or Solo were kind of entertaining but also kind of bland because they were not really standalone movies. They were movies they attached on the main storyline. Why not tell a real standalone movie? Now they're doing the High Republic. That's the reason why I think we can't really trust the big franchises anymore. They became too big to fail in a way. And the new talent that's out there already on the internet, short films, festivals, go there, watch those movies and uh, support your independent productions in your region. So what do you think about Star Wars? Put that in the comment section below, give this video a thumbs up and tell all your friends about it. And come back next time when I'm talking about another franchise that lost all my trust, okay, and uh, destroyed my childhood. But who am I? <laughs>